You have a 1 in 10 chance of having your identity stolen in the next year. The average recovery will take 18 months and could cost as much as $9,000. Tonight, the top five things you need to do to protect yourself. Nine News consumer reporter Mark Kovrick tells us, worry less about your computer and more about your wallet or purse. What do you have going on? John Cilio is a computer expert, and he'll tell you... It's commonly misunderstood that computers are the main cause of identity theft. In fact, paper theft is the, the greatest way that identities are stolen. Cilio is also an expert on identity thieves. I don't know if there's a lower form of humanity. They have now stolen his identity twice. In my case, it was a... Uh, one of those pre-approved credit offers that was sitting on my desk. He never knew until a government agent knocked on his door to arrest him. I had no idea what he was there for, and he informed me that I was being investigated for $300,000 worth of embezzlement. No matter how it happens, we all worry about it. Very scary. Very scary. Big companies that survey their customers know identity theft is top of mind. 50% of those who responded to the survey told us that they were extremely concerned about phishing and identity theft. And in fact, they put it in the same category as their concerns over issues of terrorism and the nation's economy. Cilio has launched a personal crusade exactly. to answer those concerns. And this stuff does not take that much time. He it speaks wherever he can started. get a crowd. And when he asks one, how many two? others have been victims. Only two people, three, four, five, Usually 10% of any gathering. Our checkbooks, our purses. Cilio warns them all, the first thing they need to do is clean out their wallets. 29% of all identity theft happens because of a lost or stolen wallet. He says carry only one credit card and your driver's license. Carry only what you absolutely need. He also tells them to shred everything. All credit offers, all blank courtesy checks. But shredding is not enough. All mail, Cilio says, should be delivered to a locked box. Hello, Mr. Smith. And if yes, anyone ever asks you for your social security print, number, ask them, what happens if I don't give it to you? Number. The answer, Cilio says, will most always be nothing. How many people have heard that suggestion? Monitor your credit. Finally, he tells them to order their free credit reports. If you do nothing else other than monitor your credit report, at least you will be, you will have an idea that your identity has been stolen before it turns into a felony case like mine did. Your goal it's is to make book, sure you're never in the 10% right of, of any crowd to think like a spy that has had their Thank identity you. stolen. <laughs> On the Consumer Beat, Mark Kubrick, 9 News. On 9news.com, you can link to annualcreditreport.com and in 10 or 15 minutes, order your first report. And you should opt out of all of those pre-screened credit offers that you receive by calling 1-888-OPT-OUT, 1-888-5-OPT-OUT. Uh, all of this on the 9 News Consumer page. And finally, our expert says, never use your mother's real maiden name or the actual name of the city of your birth as identifiers. I didn't know that. That's good advice. Yeah. Great advice.